Hi everybody, thanks for pressing play on the video today. It's Caroline here from craftycarolinecreates.blogspot.co.uk Today's video is an opportunity really for me to showcase you this fabulous new stamp set from Stamping Up called Watercolour Wings. It's a multi-step stamp set, let's try saying that fast, that allows you to use the different stamps to build up to these fabulous butterfly images and how pretty do they look. This is just a really simple one layer card that shows you just how pretty these butterflies are. So the best way for me to show you the stamp set is to get started on making these cards. So what I have to begin with, if we just move this out of the way so you can still see it, um, is a piece of, this is the brand new thicker Whisper White cardstock and it is really thick, great for card bases. And all I've done is just taken a sheet of that and cut that in half along this way. You then need to pick three complementing colours that are sort of lighter to darker. So for this example, if we take this one for example, I have used um, Wisteria Wonder is the lightest purple, then the edge is done in Perfect Plum and the middle in Black Brew Bliss. And this one is Pink Pirouette, Melon Mambo for the edges and Rich Razzlebury as the centre there. All of the colour combinations are over on my blog and I will link to that in the down bar below. For the two butterflies we are going to do today, I've picked two slightly different colour combinations. The first one is what I'm going to call an in colour colour combination. So we are going to use Cucumber Crush, Mint Macaran and Tip Top Talk. So the lightest colour we're going to use is the Mint Macaran, so we're going to start with that one. And the first stamp set you're going to mount is this one here. So oh, that one seems to have a little bit of... So I've already done that on my clear block, but it had a, a little bit of fluff on there, so I've just taken that out. So you can see that is mounted on there. I'm going to ink that up nicely, get that really nicely inked up. And then I'm just going to stamp it in this corner, like that. And you can see how that gives that lovely watercolour wash effect. Okay. We're then going to move on to the second stamp set, which is this one, this one here, which gives us the outline of our wings. And we are going to do that one in this case in the tip top top. I just love the name of that one, never mind the colour. So we're going to again stamp that up. Okay. And because this is photopolymer, you can see you can look through the stamp and you can see where your ink is. So I am just going to look down through the stamp set, line that up and then stamp that down firmly and you can see that gives us a lovely outline around the edge of our wings. I haven't done that quite as perfectly as I would like, it's actually a little bit difficult um, to do it with the camera in the way but you'll be able to get right on top and look right down. The last image we are going to do in this case is um, cucumber, oops, sorry, cucumber crush. And that is going to be stamped for this, this stamp set here, which is our, our middle section. So again, just going to ink that up and then go down over the middle like that. Again, I think I've gone a bit far off, but you can see how beautiful that looks. Okay, so give, just give those stamps a quick clean off and then we're going to do our second butterfly which for this combination, I'm still sort of stuck with bluey green colours, but we are going to do Island Indigo is our darkest, Bermuda Bay and then Pool Party. So, just make sure that my stamp is nice and clean. I've just got my damping scrub just up here. You can just see that there. So give that first stamp a really good clean. So again, I'm starting off with this image here. And we're going to then stamp that over here somewhere, just like that. Okay, you can see that gorgeous image that that gives. Put my pool party away and bring out the Bermuda Bay. Okay, ink that up. And again, looking through the Port of Polymer stamp set, 
just to line those wings up like that. How beautiful. And the last colour is that Island Indigo. on my card there sorry about that then we need to stamp on our bodies so we have a lovely body stamp um, I'm gonna use I've tried lots of different colors and I think my favorite for the body is early espresso so I'm just gonna take a piece of early espresso a powdering early espresso and just add bodies to our butterflies And there are, if you can see on the example cards, there are little stamens as well that you can add that look gorgeous. I'm going to keep the AliExpresso out because I'm going to stamp my sentiment. There are some gorgeous little sentiments um, in this set. And on these ones, I've used a little kindness goes a long way. But actually, um, I think on this stamp, I'm going to use this little moments that matter. The little moments with you matter a lot to me. That's a lovely sentiment, actually. So let's use that on this card. Just grab that out. So I've put that on my block, ink that up. It's actually the first time I've used this stamp set, so this stamp image, so we shall see how that looks. Stamp that down. Lovely, I quite like that. Okay, now the only the last thing to do is to fold up your card. And what I've done on this card, if you can see, I've actually wrapped to the butterfly round the sea. Now my husband said it looked a little bit like I'd run out of space, but I actually quite like that little that little butterfly wrapping around the corner there. Can you see? So I'm just gonna move this out of the way for a second while I bring in um, scoreboard here. Pop that up at the top. I'm just gonna score that in half. Now I know that um, five and seven eighths of an inch scores that in half there. And fold that over. Just bring in my, um, I'm really annoyed by that smudge there, sorry about that. Bring in my bone folder and there we go. I hope that gives you a, a good impression of how this stamp set works. It really is a great set. It didn't necessarily sing to me um, when I saw it in the catalogue, but now I have it, I'm absolutely in love. I'm going to be doing a tutorial um, next week which will be a lovely gift box. If you if you watch my videos a lot you'll know I love doing card gift boxes. So I will remake this one so it's not all smudged and I will make a lovely box for those cards to go into. And I also have a lovely project coming up using the smaller butterfly which is here. I'm going to have lots of watercolour wings inspiration on my blog over the next few days. So please do pop over and have a look and do subscribe. I love it when people subscribe and I hope you enjoy my videos. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.